Yo, welcome back to Cut Day Sports. I'm your host, Regis, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite players out of Jackson State University, Aubrey Miller Jr., a.k.a. Big 4-5. Yes, sir. Let's get it. You got to lay it brick by brick, and you got to stack them days, man. You got to want it for yourself. You got to want it for your brother, and, that, and that's real. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody in here got a chance to go to that next level. A lot of people play the game for different reasons. The reason I like Aubrey so much is not necessarily for what he's done on the field. Y'all already know about all that. It's how he conducts himself off the field and why he plays the way he plays. Now, if you've done the research and you've looked into who Aubrey is and what he's accomplished at the high school level, you notice with the Whitehaven Tigers, he went 27 and two between his junior and senior years. Won a whole bunch of awards, bro. I'm talking about the opening in New Orleans, the opening in Chicago, Sound Body, Sound Mind Award, Mr. Tennessee, All Region, All Shelby County. But that's not the most impressive thing to me. The most impressive thing is why he played the way he plays. Who does he play for? What does he put on his shoulders, which sometimes come back to bite him? But what is that that he puts on himself? Just take a listen to this right here. You'll get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. The finger tonight. Yeah, look, they tried to send me out. They tried to tell me I couldn't play, but I said, no, nah, I'm going back in. Because at first they said it couldn't pop back in. And then I kept on telling them, no, nah, you got to pop back in because it was messed up. Yeah. So then they freaking popped it back in. It was bleeding so bad. So they said I couldn't play because it was bleeding. So I just said, no, nah, just wrap it up. And if I, if I die, I just die. I'm, I'm going to finish my team. Man, I'm telling you, people don't know nothing about Memphis. People don't know nothing about them. Them kids probably went through more things than a, a death and they, I, don't, I don't know, I'm telling you, they went through so much. Yeah. So therefore, they want to do it for their family. They want to do it for everybody who's, they don't want to let nobody down. Yeah. We represent Memphis, we showing them that Memphis balling, you know, it, it ain't what you think. Yeah. Man, we balling, we smacking heads, everything. Man, I give it to my dad right there too. Cause my dad been making me work well, hard. If I didn't, he'll show it. Oh, my dad, man, come on, dad. Hey, y'all come over here. This is my team too. <laughs> Hey, y'all come over here. Hey, if it weren't for them, we wouldn't be here either, man. Let me get two, hey, let me get two of them outside of here. here. Come on the side. y'all over here. Matter of fact, I, I'm going to give it to them. That's who. Hey, that's why we here. That's why we're because of them. <laughs> let me, let me, let me. You know, hard work, keep dedication, and smart football. You know, down in Memphis, everybody think, you know, we just some dark-skinned athletes, you know. So we can't prove everybody that we have a mind, you know, and philosophy for the game of football. So after the biggest moment of his high school career, we talking about state championship win. You the you you the man everybody interviewing. You the MVP. You you the guy, and this is what you do. For Aubrey, it, it seems like it's never really been about him. It's always about shining a light on his teammates and making sure they straight. Making sure you know that Memphis ball is what it is. Making sure you know where he's from, what he represent, because there's a lot of stereotypes that come out from Memphis. You think Memphis, you thinking. Don't just show dumb niggas that I ain't never been dumb, I ain't never been a fool. Yeah. Ain't a fool when I'm shooting it. I, the money, I ain't got none. I'm just being on the right now, catch a vibe in the mood. Coming out of high school, so highly ranked, man. Everybody know your name, everybody counting on you to represent. Represent the city, represent the school, represent everything that we really are, not just the perception. He took that with him to, to Missouri. Why Missouri? He attended the night in the zoo camp, balled out. And a couple of days later, accepted the offer. He said relationships. Relationships with the coaching staff and the incoming recruits is one of the main reasons he decided to go to Mizzou. Aubrey really know how to market himself. When he first got to campus, you know what he did? Boy, I'm a barber, boy. I cut y'all boys up. Come get cut up, man. Stop playing with me. In his freshman year, he got a chance to play. Matter of fact, he cracked a bone in his leg, missed three games, and came back. And that was the start. That was the start of everybody. Ooh, who is that? Ooh, he tough. Oh, my God. Boy, we got a dog. We got a warrior. But what happened next? I almost broke him. After the freshman season, you know, you got high expectations, high hopes. Everybody expecting Aubrey to take that next, that next leap. The 2018 Black and Gold Spring Game, which was supposed to be his complete coming out moment, 
he had 10 tackles, took over the game, represented, stuck out. So if you're just looking, you're thinking, man, he about, to, he about to break out. This about to be it. This is the year of Aubrey. It didn't quite go like that. And when it didn't go like that, he slipped into a, a depression, you can say. You, he started feeling like, according to his words, started feeling like he let everybody down. Everybody back home. People started forgetting his name, so on and so forth. And he just kind of went into his shell. If you ever been around him, he's a high energy guy. He want to make you laugh, make your day better. Make you feel like you're important. So when he stopped talking at practice, stopped being that, that, that big burst of energy, he didn't play. And according to him, he didn't want to play football no more. He lost the love of the game, or at least he felt like he lost the love of the game. But at that point, he started to discover more of himself, who he is away from football. Because it's my belief that he started to let football define him. You know, like that's football player Aubrey Miller, not Aubrey Miller the human, who happens to play football. But after that minor setback, his family all picked him up. Enough is enough. Can't let it beat you. What, what you gonna do? You gonna fold up? You ain't put in all this work to, to, to become this and now to get to the next level and you fold up. How you gonna do that? Nah, bro. Aubrey started to find things outside of the game where he found enjoyment and passion so he can put that energy into. And I'm talking about things such as acting in the school play, one was an hour long called The Wall. And next he joined a fraternity. Q Dogs. March on now. What is me bump and he bump? And me cut, cut, he cut. Let's set this march on now. Well, it's your heart, baby, it's your heart. Well, it's your heart, baby, it's your heart. Well, it's me Q, me say, me Q say. Fight, bro, a single link, all right, all right, it goes up. Q, say, bro, a single link, all right, all right, it goes up. She, I, 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 me Q, me say, me Q. I, 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 I. He stuck it out, got injured in 2019. And decided after that, hey, man, everything ran its course. Time to hop in the transfer portal. He saw Coach Prime come to Jackson State. It's closer to home. Love what they building. Let me go with my people. And this is a thing where I think Aubrey's story and going to a HBCU actually benefited Aubrey Miller. It's, it's easily identified if you're a person who have seen it before if this is man i know a young black man you know he acting different he he ain't his regular self let's go see about him not necessarily let's go see about the football player let's go see about the human because we know hey people deal with a lot of trauma people deal with a lot of things so let's go and check up on aubrey i ain't gonna fake the phone when aubrey first came to jackson state and i saw him play bro i did not like aubrey not even a little bit I was like, bro, why is he always freelancing? What is what is he doing? Why he so angry? Why he getting these penalties, bro? Like, what's wrong with this man? This man tripping. He, he about to cause everything to just go bloop. And then I met him. And when I met Aubrey, bro, the first thing he asked me was, hey, man, what, hey, what you mean by that on the video? Because I said he needed to have emotional intelligence. He was like, what you mean by that? And I was like, so I had a little conversation with him. But that ain't the point. The point is he came up and he inquired about it. Not in an aggressive way. Just like, yo, like, how did I look? Like, how did that look? Concerned about him actually doing wrong, like seeking correction. I'm like, oh, damn. I, I was completely wrong about this, dude. No. Then I started diving into things more and you realize he really trying to have teammates backs. He trying to do his job, the next man job, the next next man job, he trying to play hero ball. And what does that do when trying to play hero ball? It make you look crazy. 
And that's one of the things that actually came up during the Coach Prime documentary on Barstool in one of the, uh, I think it was the first season, maybe the second season, I'm, I'm not too sure. And Coach Prime had to get on him and was like, bro, focus on you, focus on, you. do your part. If you do your part, everybody else gonna follow it. Just handle your business. That's it, don't worry about it. nothing else. Just yours. Because if you do things the right way, you handle your business, people going to naturally follow you. And that's one of the main factors into Jackson State's overall success over the past two years. They had a dominant defense. And the anchor of that dominant defense over the last two has been Aubrey Miller Jr. Always cracking heads, always getting people lined up, man. He's really, he's really that. He got his guys back. And seeing Aubrey perform at a high level at the Senior Bowl, seeing him overcome his adversities, letting the anger go, learning how to trust the coaching staff, doing his job, focusing on his craft, and being an actual professional. Bro, Aubrey Miller, if you ever listen to an interview, he's learned the small keys of it all. And he's become a professional. On and off the field, he's marketable. He's a guy who's going to come in and he's going to fight hard for the man next to him. He's going to make sure that whoever next to me, well, you got to know what you're doing. Let's go, man. We're going to dominate. He's going to tell you how to block out the noise. He's going to get you right mentally. He's going to make sure that you were keeping yourself up. Hey, bro, you worked out? Hey, yo, yo, yo what's up? What's up? You doing that? And I personally believe he's going to reach all his goals because he's seen a lot of adversity during his college career, bro. You got you to gotta remember, bro, this was a guy who was ranked a four-star by 24-7 Sports. Uh, I believe it was the number 13th overall prospect in Tennessee, according to 24-7 Sports. You know, very reputable source. So you go up there, you go to Missouri, you, you get a chance to play early, and then everything come crashing down on you. Well, you start to doubt, man, I don't even want to play this stuff no more. I don't want to do this. But you overcome them demons in your head, you beat yourself. You 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 win that mental battle and you fight back. Then you get by a community like Jackson State that backs you up. That's going to ride for you no matter what. And you feel that love from your people. That, that's, what, that's the only thing that was missing. Understanding. Being treated more than just an athlete. Because they understood you, where you come from. What, what may be troubling you. Put an arm around your strong, strong people that look like you. To see Aubrey Miller rise up right now at this particular time is amazing, bro. Because you know what these guys, you know some of what these guys have been through based on the public information that's out there or things that you get on the wire, um, people hitting you up, DMs, whatever, whatever. These young men been through a lot in their college career. They're more than just athletes, bro. They're actual human beings with actual human experiences. And this man has taken everything on the chin and kept on trucking. And that can be an example to people that's older than you, younger than you, that you can make it out of Memphis, that you can make it from wherever they from. You know, and that's just one thing I definitely respect out of from him, bro, because that, that's who he is. He a dog, bro. Till next time, cut day out. Peace.